my little YouTube little, my little YouTubers. Okay, today, oh, I got my ear, I got a little ear, two little ear piercings right here. And every time I touch them, I feel like I wanna die. Oh, they hurt. I'm being dramatic. Okay, today, I am doing a video you have been requesting from me for far too long that I have been putting off doing, but I just feel like YouTube is the best place to do it. Thank you for your patience. Without further ado, I am doing an updated makeup routine because I have switched them things up. We freshened. It's very similar to my like previous one with some changes that I've incorporated from actually the video I did recreating Mary from Love Island, her makeup look. Personally, hers was a bit heavy for me. So this is like me modifying it and oh, I just, I feel like I found my, my look, my look. So I'm going to run through that with you. Let me get my tools. You know what song I have it stuck in my head? Of course, it's from TikTok. If you wonder if I hate you. Or this one. Come here, bring that dick here. Like I cannot get them out of my head. All right, so I'm just gonna splash some water on my face because I feel greasy. Okay, huh. Moisturizer. This is my favorite moisturizer. It's an illuminating moisturizer from Top to Harper. Just gonna put a little of that on. First thing first is I use this YSL Tush Loch Blur Primer. I think I said that perfectly. Put this on, prime, prime, prime. Then I start with Hollywood Flawless Filter from uh, Charlotte Tilbury in the shade three, which is fair. With my makeup, I always want to be glowing. We are glowing goddesses here. We sparkle, we shine, and we bring that light to the world, and we look good. So I put that, and I just use this little hourglass brush to brush this in. This is a new step that I hadn't done in my original makeup video. Mary from Love Island used this and I do really like it. Like you can see, oh my gosh, my skin. What the heck, it's freaking glowing. I've also switched out my foundation. In my previous video, I used this foundation from Estee Lauder, which is a Futurist Hydro Rescue Foundation, which I really do love. But um, this one has SPF in it. And um, when I wanna do more of a full coverage foundation that doesn't have SPF, cause sometimes it shows up a little different on camera if you're like taking photos or if I'm doing my makeup for nighttime. I have been, I've never tried this one. I know this is like one of the most popular foundations out there. It's the Estee Lauder Double Wear Stay In Place Makeup. I feel like it has a little bit more coverage. I wear the same shade in these two foundations, uh, 1W2 Sand. In my other video where I recreated Mary's look, the hourglass, like I've tried probably five different colors of that hourglass foundation and it just did not work for me. Like none of them really matched as well as this shade I think matches me. So I actually just rub it in with my hands roughly and then I take my damp beauty blender and just really rub it in. Yeah, this one definitely feels like more coverage than the one I was using previously with SPF, but I still love them both. I usually use the one with SPF more for like daytime and this one for like fancier nighttime or when I'm shooting and need more coverage. Then I also have switched up my concealer. So gosh, I'm like an Estee Lauder whore, ho. Of. Oh God, this hair is driving me mad. So I was using the NARS concealer before and I felt like I just wanted to try something new. So I've been using the Estee Lauder Double Wear Stay In Place Flawless Wear Concealer. And I do think it goes really well with the foundation. And I wear the shade 1W Light. I just do a little here. Every beauty person is a lift. We are lifting. Now I'll just go down the center of my nose. D, 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 forehead, chin. Chinny, chin, chin. What I am using from Hourglass still, this is actually a foundation in the shade Almond, but I use it as contour. Just feel like it gives you a little more oomph than if you were just doing your bronzer. So I just do it in these two spots and like very lightly. This stuff goes a long way. And then we blend. I'll tell you what, I met someone today 
that I think is going to change my life. I'm very excited. Um, she will be on the Confident Collective podcast at the end of December. I just got on of our interview with her. Um, she's incredible. I cannot wait for you to meet her. I'm like, should I tell you now who it is? Her name is Dara and she studies astro geography. I actually cried when we were talking. She shared a lot of things with me that, <sighs> whoa. It's just gonna be such a good episode and I'm like, wow, I'm gonna have some major life changes coming. I'm really excited and oh, I'm just excited. Okay, so when I blend that in, I just use that with my beauty blender. I use this little buffer brush to start and then sometimes I'll even go in with my beauty blender to blend it a little bit more. And then this one, blend back into the hairline. Blend, blend, blend. I don't even attempt to do a nose contour. I don't, it scares me. I always do it and I end up just looking dirty. Then I take the Laura Mercier translucent setting powder and go under my eyes to set that. I just put it on the beauty blender like that. Blender. And then I take like a big fluffier powder brush and just put the tiniest bit and kind of go lightly like that. You don't need a lot, just a little bit. Then I go in with my hourglass bronzer. It's an luminous bronze light. I just feel like this bronzer, I've used it for a very long time now. It gives you the most gorgeous like bronzy glow. And I just go over where I did that contour to really make it pop. All of you are like, what eyeshadow do you use? What eyeshadow do you use? I use my bronzer. So I just put, take an eyeshadow brush and do the corner and kind of bring it in like this and use as my eyeshadow. Amazing. Another thing I've switched up is my blush. I've been using a lot more blush recently. I still use NARS, but it's a different color. So I use NARS in the color Deep Throat. <laughs> and I just do apples in my cheeks and bring it up. I really go to town with the blush. I just love it. And then I'll even go over my nose like this and then on my eyelids too, like that. I use the Hourglass Ambient Highlighter. This is Euphoric Strobe Light. And I just put it here, my cupid's bow, to my nose, my chin, chin, cheekbone, and then a little bit under my eye, like brows. Eyebrows. I am still on the Huda Beauty train with the brows. I just think it gives you a very natural, fluffy looking eyebrow look. So brush these through. I just draw a very faint line along the bottom of my brow. And then I draw in at the ends, going heavier on the back here. And then as I move in towards the eyebrow, I get lighter with my strokes. So heavier and then do lighter handed as you come into the middle. Cool, 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 cool. Then for the eyebrow gel, I was using the Refi one for a while, but then it started, I don't know, it started getting like clumpy. This one I'm using is by Mario. There's two sides of this brush. One is fluffier, one is like not as fluffy. I take the fluffy one and brush the opposite way with the gel to like coat the eyebrows. And then I take the other side that's like the shorter side and brush it through to like put it into place. These suckers ain't gonna move with this stuff on. This stuff is very powerful. That's just about everything. I use the All Nighter Setting Spray from Urban Decay. This stuff is like on its last leg. Oh, fuck. Well, that, when you get to the end of the bottle, is not as smooth as I hoped. Mascara, I use the Honest Beauty Mascara. I struggle with mascara with it like leaving dark residue under my eyes. I've tried so many mascaras and so many do that. And this one is like the only one I've found that does not do that. So I just start with the primer, coat those lashes, baby. And then go in with the uh, mascara. I just stab myself in the eye. So I really go to town on the top and I kind of pull them out that way, not just straight out, out to the right. And then I go very subtle on my bottom lashes. Like I just put just a touch on my bottom lashes. All right, so I use Burt's Bees Suede Splash, my favorite lip color ever. I have been using this lipstick for 
almost 10 years. Then I go over with the Summer Fridays gloss over top. I feel like this makes your lips look bigger. Gloss on. That is my full makeup routine. Uh, this is what I do if I'm shooting, if I'm going to dinner, honestly, like just about anything. This is the makeup look that I do. A few updates, few tweaks. I will link everything in the description of the video so you can find direct links with my shade info, all that good stuff. Thank you for watching. If you try it, please tag me on your Instagram. Show me a selfie and tag me so I can see how gorgeous you look. That is all I have for you today. Thank you for watching this very chaotic makeup tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. I love you so much. See you next time. Bye.